weird mass. So yeah. sorry guys, apologize for snorting, etc. Um it is very cold. So I came down on my bike today and I went down the A41 and my gosh those lorries that go past you flipping heck. I was like, whoa, getting blown everywhere and I've got a big heavy bag on my back with all my recording gear and of course Kaz does not go anywhere in the winter nor summer really without a flask of coffee. Today's extra special because I have caramel coffee with a hint of hazelnut. I should do adverts really. <laughs> anyway guys, um, I want to say a massive thank you for everybody who's on my channel and everybody who's joined the Facebook group. Today I am interrupting the eBay exposure video um, to bring you here to this lovely place. This will be on the, the eBay video and this will also be the intro to the video that I am doing today. Um, why have I brought eBay up? Oh, excuse me guys, because, um, well, this lady who I was getting my boxes from she has gone and found uh, another box and um, is saying that it is a Dybbuk box. In the title it actually says Dybbuk box. Now I'm not too faced. I did actually email um, the lady on eBay and I just politely said um, I know these boxes aren't from the 1800s and um, I can prove it and I also know that they're not Dybbuk boxes and I can prove it and I think it's disrespectful for the Jewish community and those who passed during the Holocaust and obviously we went into that earlier on in the video so um, at this point I'm hoping you would have seen um, the boxes or a couple of the boxes that I've had I wasn't able to find all the footage but I have or I am piecing together some bits um, about the boxes that I had. I do believe maybe the first and the second box was real and I think that the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do believe now that this lady is actually making the boxes herself. I think she is um, going to either thrift shops like um, antiques shops or house clearances as someone suggested and is getting all these things and if it was a, if it was a zoo back then and there were animal bones on the property sorry the camera's shaking because of the wind um, then um, she could have easily just used the bones from the land or from farmlands it is Cumbria um, I did try to find as much information as I could to do with Flimby and Flimby Woods but to be honest with you there is not much information out there um, especially to do with the witchcraft um, I just showed you a little bit of witchcraft that happened you know around the 1900s but certainly not the 1800s now for those of you who don't know basically this lady on eBay sold me some boxes and said they were haunted divot boxes that were found at a property in Cumbria for a house renovation. Okay, so I was like, okay, now I was fairly sort of new to divot boxes and occult boxes. I had had some experience um, years and years ago, but it's been a while since I've done anything like that. So I took a gamble and I went for it. Now, obviously, I can't say anything because you can't prove if an item is haunted or not haunted. But what I think has happened is that while she's been making these boxes and throwing all of these different symbols on satanic, voodoo, hoodoo, um, you know, paganism, shamanism, as well, it's just a mixture of everything on the boxes, I feel, anyway, I don't feel as genuine, and I think she's made them up, and definitely the last box I had, because plastic, plastic doll, plastic wasn't invented from 1906, and this vintage doll is roughly 40 to 50 years at the max old, and we proved that. Here's the footage, if you haven't seen it, um, it'll be coming up shortly. And um, uh, if I'm re repeating myself, guys, I apologise. Um, but yeah, um, what was I going to say? 
Oh yeah, uh, my friend got the other box and it had a metal like trinket teddy bear head in this little jewelry things on. No way, that's modern that. But she is saying in a description that they're 1800 boxes. They're not. Um, I just believe she's... And the wax on them as well, it's like practically brand new, the wax. If they were 200 years old, the wax would have come off, melted, whatever. Neat string wrapped around, sealed with wax. She's done her research, I give her that. But no um this is the best i could do really guys at, at this uh, ebay exposure i'm just trying to warn people that what you're buying isn't necessarily what people are selling okay now we have talked about spirit attachments and i do believe that maybe when she's been doing these boxes accidentally she has conjured up something and it has attached itself to an object in the box or the box itself um, I do believe things like that can happen accidentally is why you shouldn't mess around with things that you do not know about. If you don't know anything about dark arts, don't mess around with dark arts. If you don't know anything about Christianity, don't say you're a Christian. Um, a Catholic, a Jew, whoever, a priest. Oh, just be, be genuine. But, you know, we, I can't get my money back. I can't complain to eBay that, oh, this isn't, it hasn't got a demonic soul in it, it hasn't got a, 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 a spirit in it, you know, I can't, you can't prove these things, so I just wanted to warn all paranormal investigators out there that just be careful what you're buying. I thought I was buying divot boxes, hence the divot box diaries, but unfortunately guys, I was wrong, and I put my hands up in the air and I say I was wrong. I had great fun with it, and the EMF readings, I think, was because there might have been a spirit attachment to the object, or you know it could even just be to do with us in the, in the house so um yeah um it's been a difficult video this one to make so i do hope that you appreciated it and uh, i'll see you all soon enjoy the video that's coming up so here we are guys this is the commonwealth war graves in heart hill in cheshire now i, I there is a massive background to do with this place um, let's have a look at some of these graves have a little walk around have a little chat so look at the view look at that and you see those hills in the background with the steam going across looks like silence hill <laughs> I love it here look how beautiful this place is the hills so this is just a tiny little like cul-de-sac sort of village um uh, house over there so just being respectful and being quite quiet today i have a wander down here look at these graves isn't it amazing i do love history so we are going to have a spirit box session just have a look at some of these so heart hill aka spooky village because this place at night guys is crazy there are so many stories about this place being haunted and apparently at night you can see a lady um, in blue and she's walking up and down the lanes um, we are in the middle of the countryside here. Can you see me guys? Wow, it's quite uh, woo, cobwebs, spiders. We don't like spiders. Let's get this light on. That's better. Oh, talk about spiders. I had one not last night, the night before. Sorry about the light, guys. Uh, not last night the night before, I had one. Three o'clock in the morning, I woke up. Three o'clock in the morning and um, put my feet on the floor and just outside, next to my bedside table, um, it came running out at me. <laughs> and I just panicked, grabbed my sliders and flip flop and just like, boosh, squashed it, brushed it off and that was that. I do have some tissues somewhere, I'm trying to uh, find them, I apologise. 
So I'll just have a little look around. Just love these really old graves. So there's a little walkway here. Look at this one. That is beautiful here. Just look. You can imagine up in the hills, a witch's coven. Let's have a little wander around here. Rose. So I've put the necrophonic app on while we're walking around. Who's here? Is anybody here? So I heard Angel. Oh, look at all that steam. Lies the remains of Benjamin Dodd. Late of Boxton, who departed this life March 11th, 1841. So, is anybody here who I'm here? Who else is here? Dad, Dad, who? William Carr! Uh, it just said William Carr! Look whose grave I'm on! William Carr's! Hart oh, Hill, he's a part of this life. Died 12th, 1851. William Carr, thank you so much. Are you still here? Yes. Are you at rest? Are you peace here? Is your wife Mary here? Yes. I swear it said yes. Thank you, thank you so much for coming through for me. I'm going to walk on now. You can follow me if you want. Is anybody else here? Who? Wow, guys, check this out. Imagine it here at night. This would be awesome. Hi, who am I talking with, please? I know it's daytime, I know you're a bit quiet, maybe a bit sleepy. Who's here? Oh, excuse me guys. Okay, so who's here with us please? Could you speak louder for me please? Let's try echo. How many spirits are here? How many? Two. What did that say? David. Hi, was that David then? Was there a David there? Gone quiet now. Still 
Oh, hey. Right side's clear. Rewind that, guys. So, I'm a, an investigator. Is there anything you'd like to tell me whilst I'm here? Fuck! That's a bit rude. Tight. A tight fuck. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have to laugh. I swear it said fuck and then tight. Uh. It's cold today. Is there anybody, is anybody here? I know there's a few of you knocking around. There's a lady in blue here. Dog or dark. I run a site called Diary of the Dark. And is there any messages you'd like to give to anybody? Mike. Hmm. Sorry about this video guys, it's a bit all over the place but I'm just seeing if anybody is going to come through. I'm wondering if a lady in blue is around. Can you guys make anything out? Me. Who's that? Not getting very much clear answers at the minute. Oh, caretaker's a bit. Okay, that door. Awesome. So, that's why it said die. How did you die? Tom, 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 Tom. Did Tom kill you? There's a lot of Thomases and Toms kicking about at the minute. How many people are here? How many people are here? Hey, the girl go laughing. I'm sorry it said cold. I am getting cold guys. Um, I'm going to leave it here and head on to the next location in Tatton Hall. We are going back to the pirate's grave. We are going to see if we can reconnect with Thomas, um, who I believe was around last time that um, I went there. So we are going to see if Thomas is around and uh, if we get any activity from around the pirate's grave again. Um, last time I think it said that Edward and Hannah had gone. I presume they've moved on. Um, Oh, struggling today. I didn't bring my crutches. I can sort of do short distance and I have to sit down. Oh, but uh, yeah, this place is beautiful. And um, I'm going to leave it there, guys, and I'll see you at the next location in Tartan Hall. If you could hear anything through the Necrophonic app, just please let me know. Just timestamp it either on my Facebook group or YouTube. Thank you so much. 
So here we are, Tatton Hall Church. Hey guys, so I'm back. Here we are at Tatton Hall St Albans Church again. Here we go guys. Ah, I just love this church. Tripod set up there, main entrance. And just round there was where we went to the pirate's grave. So all these old tombs, amazing. So, I hope everybody's well. Oh. Hey guys, uh, Kez Van D for Diary of the Dark. How is everybody today? How are we all doing? I am in Tatton Hall in Cheshire again. I have been up to Hart Hill, uh, Spooky Village, and I am now in St Albans Church. Um, we're going to have a little walk around again. We're going to go visit the pirate's grave, Edward and Hannah's, and do a little necrophonic session and uh, see if we can capture anything. Now, I want you guys to listen out for me, please. Um, it's difficult sometimes when I'm out and about, um, I don't necessarily pick up all of the words. So if I miss anything or if I mishear anything, if you, don't, if you think I'm wrong, then just correct me. It's absolutely fine. Um, you know, not saying I'm 100% right with these things, but we'll have a good another go. Um, and then I'm going to head off home. So let's have a little wander around then, guys. Oh, yeah, as well, massive shout out to everybody. Michelle Rogers over in Kentucky in America. Love you to bits, girl. Hope that you're doing well. Vessels of the Dead, Joe Coward, Connie Wenman, Emma Bell, everybody on Diary of the Dark. Massive shout out. Um, bear with me with this video, guys. It's going to be epic. Let's go. Oh. Off we go. These tombstones. Beautiful. Lovely big tree there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I just love it. I just love tombstones. Graveyards. Some amazing history here. That's the uh, old vicar's church. Look at these ones here. With the remains of Ralph, son of George. The remains of Ralph, son of George, and Jane, Dodd, another Dodd, of Tatton Hall, died September 4th, 1807, aged 51, wow, 1807, wow, um, over there, Hannah, wife of what does that say there? Wife of something, Scaland of Tassinor, who died age 20, 1835 anyway. Wow. And look at that skull and crossbones. We are at the pirate's grave. So it's John son of Charles there. Who are these? Sacred, excuse me. Memory of George, son of, oh something, George's son of George. Died 15th of April, 1836, aged 30 years, and Eliza, 
died the 10th, 1812, is that? Age 16 years. Oh, crikey, that's so young. And we've got the sandstone here from Sandstone Hills. Okay, right. So, this grave here is the pirate's grave, Edward and Hannes and their sons. And um, look as well, that, I think that's a ship like sign as well. So, I think some of these might have been crewmates as well. I'm not too sure because you can't really read on top of the gravestones. Um, so, anyway, let's. Uh, So I've got the EMF meter, right, that's there, you suck guys see, it's just on green, okay, no technology, nothing's interfering with that, and uh, put the Bluetooth speaker on. Mode. Okay, so we have that connected. Stay with me, guys. So, hi, guys, we are back. Right, I have got my Bluetooth speaker. I'm going to pop that there. I do have my phone, crack on the Necrophonic app. I'm currently just at Hannah and Edward's grave with the skull and crossbones. I'm just really drawn to this place. Um, it is a bit chilly out today. I just took my coat off because I'm getting a bit warm underneath there because um, I had a hot water bottle. I know I'm old and I'm sad. No, it is freezing today and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a hot water bottle, put it under my jacket nice and warm so when I'm on my bike we're nice and warm uh, okay guys so uh, got EVPs today as well you know what let's put this on we're gonna record see if we can uh, if we get anything back on the record so let's do that first okay so record mode initializing there we go Hi, so I'm Kaz Van D. This is Diary of the Dark. Is there? I haven't even pressed start. What's going on? What? Wow! I don't know what happened there. I didn't even press anything, guys. Okay. Um, is there anybody here that would like to say anything? You can speak into this device I have here. Are there any spirits here with me today? Is there anybody here that has any messages for anybody? If you are here, how did you die? So my name's Kaz, and I come with peace and love and light in my heart. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, play that back. Oh. Oh. EMF meter was going off then. Let's play this. Oh. If I get it. Hi, so I'm Kaz Van D, this is Diary of the Dark. Is there Ah oh. Why did that happen? What's going on? Wow, yeah. see why did that happen?
Uh, at least I know that's working anyway, so that's great. Uh, I don't think I don't think we're going to get much today really because it is daytime. Um, it's quite quiet today, but I do have the EMF meter here, so uh, let's crack on. Let's do a necrophonic session. Hi. Hi. Say Lee. My first name. Is there anybody here today that would like to come through and speak? Is that Dodd? You can make the meter in my hand, you can make this go off. Who's here? We you what? The people. The people. Could you speak slowly, please? One at a time. Please. Thinking, who's here now? See the meter going if you're female. Yeah. Male. See the meter going if you're male. Come on, you can do this. Come on. You can do it. You can make this meter go off in my hand, you know. There we go. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. Okay, fantastic. Who's here with me? The who? Thank you so much for that response there uh, on the meter. You may be going up at any time you want. I'll keep an eye on it there. Wow, guys. We had a bit of uh, activity there on the EMF meter. Um, crazy things coming through today. Can't make it all out. It does say something about the people. Did you hear that? Yes. Thank you very much. I think you're beautiful. So, hi guys. My name is Kaz Van D. And I'm in the after dark. Um, I'm back. I'm back in Tattenham. I just wanted to come and say hello. So there's quite a few of you coming through at the moment. How many... Um, spirits are down because the necrophonic app's going off. Three spirits. Oh, what did you say? Look, 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 look. Who is this? You can make the music go off in my hand. Demon. I swear it said demon. I don't believe you. Gone. Gone. There's Hannah and Edward here. Is Hannah and Edward gone? <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. You can use my energy. You can make this go all the way to red. Come on, you can do it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Who am I talking with now, please? Who? 
Oh, oh, carry on, you can do this. What's your name, please? Ben? Wow, slow down. What's your name, please? Wow, can you hear the dove? Thank you so much for giving us a response on the meter, thank you. Keep it going if you're male. Yes, okay, so you're male. Let's have a listen. What's your name? Thank you so much. I don't mean to bother anybody, but thank you so much for making this meter go off for me today. Um, thank you. Wow, look at that, it's still going. This is crazy. It's the middle of the daytime as well. Wow. Yeah. I totally zoned out then guys, I wasn't actually listening, so sorry about that. Wow, look at it, it's going it's crazy. Wow. Is there a child spirit here? Yeah, I think I said yeah. So here's a, a story about a, a spirit tree up there. I'm going to show you guys in a bit. I can't believe this is going off still. This is crazy. Um, wow, guys. It was going off like absolutely mental. Turn that off for now. Oh. So if you guys uh, heard anything there, if you could timestamp it for me, that'd be great. Um, I am doing this in daytime, in the middle of a churchyard. There are some people around, but, you know, uh, people are used to me around here. <laughs> They're just like, oh, it's just cars. Uh, yes, today's a bit of a different video. I do apologise. I don't mean for it to be boring or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to get out, get some fresh air, get some filming done, try and get some content for you guys. I am going to go home, I'm going to go through everything, listen to it all and just see if I could pick up on anything. Um, there is a bit of traffic going on in the background and there are people, there's a guy that's around here doing the gardening and things and um, I can't hear everything that comes through. That's what you guys are for, I've decided. <laughs> you guys can help me out. So I'm still rocking the hair, trying to grow it out at the back. I haven't got, I've only got like the sides done. <sighs> but so, um, right. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Um, I have taken you up to Heart Hill to the Commonwealth War Graves up there. We did a bit of a spirit session. I've brought you back to Tatton Hall to the Pirate's Grave, as I call it, Skull and Crossbones. Um, I am rocking the Neo Mast still, because we have the coronavirus pandemic going on still. So, I'm going to have a little wander around, guys. Shavia. <coughs> Me. Who was that? Let's have a walk around with the necrophonic cap on. Who's here? <coughs> Who is here with us now? <coughs> Yeah. Run. I can't run. Well, wow, guys, just look how beautiful this place is. Let he slip down. Look. Burial. I heard that. Is it true about this tree that it's a spirit tree? Did people die underneath this tree? 
Yes, yes. I heard yeah. Right, the story behind this, guys, ooh, is this is the spirit tree. And when we were children, we were told that when you walk from one side to the other underneath this tree, you have to hold your breath because. Because two young boys died underneath this tree many, 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 many years ago, like 50, 60, 70 years ago. They were messing around, can't remember what really happened, but well, they were found dead. So it was called the spirit tree after that, and it is beautiful. And they think that this like blossoms and this gets as big as it is and as beautiful as it is for everybody's souls. They're all part of this tree. So we were told that you were to hold your breath from one side to another, otherwise the boys were going to get you, basically. <gasps> said my name, said Caroline then. I heard that. Yes, I'm here. Who am I talking with? Is Thomas here? <laughs> Ian? Is it Ian then? Is Ian? Is Thomas? No. no. Who's here then? Can I keep asking who's here? Can you give your name? No. Uh. Uh. Uh, it's like a sheep. Meh. Is that because I'm in the countryside? Are you taking the mickey? I heard my name. I don't think Thomas is here today though. I was going to have a look round for a grave for Thomas. I did find some information that there were a few Thomases buried here. So one last listen before I go home. Cigarettes I hear. I smoke, yeah. Tell me about myself. What colour are my trousers? It's gone quiet. Can you tell me what colour my trousers are? Yes. Did you hear that? Grey. They are actually underneath my black pants. I do have grey pants. I swear they said grey. Is Thomas here? When I was here last time, there was a Thomas. Did you tell me is Thomas here? Probably. Oh God, it's so cold. Right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much, uh, Spirit. Thank you for coming. To I appreciate that. Much respect. Thank you so much for having me here today. And thank you guys for watching Diary of the Dark. Like today, today's a little bit up in the air. It's a little bit different. Um, it is getting cold now, so I... Oh, I'm going to clear off. Right, love you loads, and I'll see you next time on Diary of the Dark. Um, today didn't really get an awful lot, but you know what? I don't fake things. I'm not like that, I'm not like proving demons or faking demons or oh my gosh, not the TV and uh, everybody else in America is all on the bandwagon, no offence Michelle you're not one of them talking about people on YouTube who just fake things um, sick of fakers so don't hate the genuine people, hate the fakers um, it might not be really exciting and I apologise for that I will be doing some nighttime explorations when it gets a little bit better, the weather. But for now, 
love you leave you like i said apologize about today's video um it's difficult sometimes to get the answers and to listen to actually what's being said um and i haven't got the best of phones my phone's all smashed up to heck look at that smashed up to heck it is lunchtime. i'm gonna go and get something to eat might do some random northing at some point guys or some geo catching mess these videos up a little bit and if you are loving the series please remember to like smash that like button smash it share it um please go onto my facebook group diary of the dark on facebook you can well you're welcome to post things on there your stories ghost stories anything like that youtube paranormal investigations do it guys post on there thank you so much love you and leave you for now stay spooky and i'll see you all on the dark side of the moon